Hi, my name is Anna Callahan, and I am running for state representative in the 34th Middlesex. I'm a software engineer, I'm a mom, and I believe our state needs to treat certain issues with more urgency, especially climate change, healthcare, and criminal justice reform. Now in Massachusetts, we have a veto-proof supermajority of Democrats in both houses of the legislature. And yet year after year, we cannot pass common sense legislation that is in the Massachusetts Democratic Party platform. Things like committing to 100% renewables, the Safe Communities Act, single payer medical care, and election day registration. Something has gone seriously wrong. Now this election is about good government. This election is about whether our state reps votes are secret. This election is about whether our legislators have even 30 minutes to review legislation before having to vote on it. And this election is fundamentally about the concentration of power in the hands of the Speaker of the House that prevents us from passing popular progressive legislation. Just a little bit about me. Uh, I moved to Ball Square in 2003 to live with my sister. Uh, I immediately fell in love with the area. Uh, it's the only place I've ever lived that really feels like home. Um, I met my husband here. Our son was born here. We still live just over a mile from my sister where my son loves to play with his cousins. And in 2016, I quit my job uh, to volunteer for the Bernie Sanders campaign because his policy platform embodied the values that I've believed in all my life. After that campaign ended, I never went back to software. Uh, the November elections made it very clear that we are at an all hands on deck moment in politics. And I wanted to do whatever it takes to turn this ship around. I started an organization called The Incorruptibles. And I've spent the last few years training people across the country in places like Oklahoma and Kansas, uh, in Northern and Southern California, in Washington State, in Pennsylvania, and right here in Massachusetts to elect slates of progressive of progressives to their city council. Um, and to do that by building coalitions of underserved and marginalized communities and by increasing the engagement of working people. One of the most important parts of the training that I've done for the last few years is for elected officials. And it's about co-governance. It means that the people who are most affected by policy need to be at the table. They're not just advisors, uh, that we strategize together what the policy priorities are and how we can get those things passed. Now there's a quote on my wall um, that drives everything I've done for the last four years and it is driving me to run for office today. It says, if they have the money and we have the people, we cannot win by preaching to the choir. That means we have to engage people in the political process. We have to engage a lot more people. We cannot win a Green New Deal for Massachusetts without a movement behind it. We're not gonna have a single payer here in Massachusetts without more people engaged in the political process. What's preventing these things from passing is not the will of the voters. It is the legislature. We have to put pressure on legislators and that can only happen when a lot more people are engaged in the political process. Now, elected officials have a unique position and they have a unique ability to engage people in politics. If they're not doing that, we are losing the most important path that we have to get progressive policies passed. And if we can't even see how our legislators vote, if bills continue to quietly die in committee without a trace, our engagement becomes even more difficult. This district deserves a state rep who understands that getting legislation to actually pass is more than just a vote. I will fight for transparency. All state rep votes should be public. I will push for term limits for the Speaker of the House. I will vote to give legislators and us as constituents enough time to read bills and to react to them before a vote happens. I will work to reduce the concentration of power that the Speaker has over which bills are allowed to move forward. And at the same time, I will be reaching out directly to vulnerable, marginalized people and to everyday people in our district to bring them to the table on policy. I believe in a government that works for us all. I believe that we can save our planet, that we can join the rest of the world in providing healthcare. I believe we can create a fair and just society for everyone. 
I hope that you will join me in creating this reality, not just by voting for me in the Democratic primary on September 1st, but by staying engaged in these issues that matter so much to all of us. Thank you.